Hey Nicole, how are you? It's Manuel. Um, I wanted to make this video for you because um, you actually took the time to write me back of my email. And um, first of all, I just want to say thank you um, for for writing me back. <clears throat> I know that uh, your intent, your email, I didn't take away um, any sort of malintent. I actually read it, and um, I really appreciate what you wrote. And I just want to apologize for if I came off a little distraught. I mean, obviously, you know, I'm still hurt. You know, obviously, you know. And uh, I know you're Dana's friend and you care a lot about Dana, and that's cool, you know, I respect that 100% that you care about her. Um, I care about Dana too. And I know that probably in the last seven to eight weeks, she probably doesn't think that because of the fact that I can constantly call on her. And uh, just, you know, reaching out to her and being upset and, and just, you know, whatever. Um, there's a lot of different reasons for that, which I'm not going to validate, but most importantly, it's because I'm hurt, you know, and, and I'm, and I'm still, I haven't gotten over the breakup. Um, Nicole, I, I guess I'm making this, vi this video for you because, you know, I, um, I know you know that I cared about your girl, you know, I know, you know, I cared about her and, um, you know, your friend, your friend Dana is, is someone that I love like wholeheartedly. Um, I'm, I'm just in a way... I'm feeling a lot of different emotions, uh, Nicole. Mostly um, a lot of hurt, you know, a lot of uh, sadness, you know, depression, anger. Uh, typically the type of feelings people feel when you get out of a breakup and, you know, you're going through the healing process, right? Um, and I guess in the last eight weeks since I've seen her, uh, I've been going to, like, my therapist and stuff, talking to him about this and... I mean, it's helped me out a little bit, um, but, you know, it's, it's just going to take a lot of time, you know? You know that. I mean, I'm sure you've been through a breakup. It's not fun. It really sucks. Um, Nicole, I know she doesn't want to talk to me. You know, I know she doesn't want anything to do with me. I know she thinks that I'm, like, a habitual liar, and she thinks that, like, you know, like, I, like, I... You know, I'm not going to change and all these things. She, well, she probably also thinks I'm going to be abusive to her in the future. Um, Nicole, I wanted to say this, you know. Um, uh, you know, look, I, all I could really do at this point to really convince her is that there's really nothing I could do really but give it time. And the truth is, is that, like, I'm pretty sorry about those things that happened because if I wasn't sorry, you know, I don't want, I don't, wouldn't want her to feel this way towards me. Um... I definitely think there there do need to be changes on my end that I need to do, especially to kind of demonstrate that I'm willing to change. And I know she doesn't trust my word because of the fact that I've been constantly reaching out to her consistently. Um, and a lot of my friends have told me, male and female, um, most of my male friends have said, like, just leave her alone and give it time. It's it's hard, you know, for us guys. Like, guys, we, you know, for women, women can, like, camouflage their feelings and pretend they're not hurt but they really are us guys we have a really bad time expressing our feelings sometimes and i'm just hurt you know and it doesn't make me less of a man to you know see how i feel but uh, i you know i read your email and i read it and i was just like okay this person is just trying to give me some you know constructive criticism you know and i know i wrote back very like quickly and i, t I was texting you and it was just like you know nicole like i really cared about dana you know and, you know, Nicole, like, the things I had to go through the last eight weeks, man, I was literally in the hospital, Nicole, with pneumonia, you know, and I don't know how I'm even alive right now, but, you know, my my birthday, I'm in the hospital, Nicole, and I want my mother, and my mother's holding my hand, you know, and, well, you know, this arm is, like, all messed up now, but... I was in I was in the hospital and I told my mom that you know I miss my girlfriend. And that's what I wanted for my birthday, and that was hard, Nicole. You know she's in Bermuda with you partying, and I'm in the hospital like crying over her. You know it's been very hard, and um, you know thank thank thankfully through the Lord you know I've I uh, I still have a really good career. You know I still have, I just got a part time job on top of my full time. And I joined the Red Cross, and you know, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to move on, you know, and, and hasn't been that easy, Nicole, you know, and uh, 
you know, I, I, I'm, I'm, you know, a lot of part of me does feel angry too because like, you know, I care so much about her, and also like, I, I feel like she paints me like a villain in a lot of ways, and I was never, I don't want to sit here and, and be, be like she, like play like the victim or nothing like that. I don't have time for that. I'm 32 years old, but it's like, you know, I really cared about her, man. Like, if I was willing to go through therapy sessions. And, like, to freaking call her to work things out. You know, like, it, it's just fucked up, man. That, like, somebody that you put 10 months of your time with, you see them every week for lunch. You see them on the weekends. You are talk to them every morning. You talk to them at night. And then they just disappear. Like, that's fucked up, you know? So, I, I know, like, Dana, you know, you side with Dana, obviously, and you, she's your friend. But then you don't do that, you know? And I think, like, honestly, Nicole... Can I ask you my honest opinion? I think that, like, she's had so many bad fucking breakups with guys. Like, I think the only good relationship she had was with Veronica, right? And all right, like, that was her first relationship with a girl for, like, six years. I mean, she's bisexual. I mean, let's be honest, right? And she was with a girl that was really intimate with her and stuff. But I think, like, I think she was really confused about herself at that point, right? And I can understand why, like, she didn't want to be with Veronica, but then, like, to get with guys, and then the guys that she met, I'm sorry, like, I mean, I, I'm listening to her shit about all these all these guys, and it's like, all these guys just, like, were just trying to have sex with her, right? And none of the guys fucking took her serious. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, you know, Daniel they didn't fucking take her serious. You know, Troy they didn't fucking take her serious. Um, Noah didn't take her serious. And Nia did Corey. And then these guys took her serious. And I think, like, a lot of it had to do with her perception on men. Because the fact that she was with a relationship for a woman for six years totally per- changed the whole personification of what is it that a man caters to her for. And I don't think, like, I think she was very confused in her in her youth, maybe, with her gender roles in terms of what, what a man is. But it's, it's it's certainly apparent, like, in certain things that she does... Like, I don't think she's ever been any way girly at any point in her life, right? And so, you know, some guys will be okay with tolerating that, you know? I mean, I get she's tough and everything, but, like, you don't have to be, like, so difficult to deal with. And my biggest fear, Nicole, and I say this to you as someone that, you know, who's who's a friend, is I'm scared she's going to meet somebody who treats her like shit, and she's going to get hurt again, you know? That's why I, I, I reach out to you today because I really want you to to watch over Dana, you know, and, and to really, you know, help her during this tough time in her life because of me. And, uh, you know, I want you to watch over her. You know, I wrote her a letter, like a six page letter, just telling her, like, you know, what she means to me. And, um, you know, just kind of like a understanding how she feels about the breakup or whatever. And I don't know if she read it or not. I mean, who knows? She probably fucking ripped it up in pieces and threw away the fucking bracelet I got her. That bracelet, by the way, was hard as hell to find. Like, I had to literally get get it fucking shit from Priya K. Verde to go get it. And um, she probably did all that. And then, I, I don't know, you know? But the point is, is that um, I, I've tried everything, Nicole. You know, I've tried counseling, therapy, I've tried, you know, talking to her, I've had females, Nicole, females, like Adriana, you know, um, Joanna, the girl that fucking called her in November, telling her that I was with her, the girl, and, and someone who now is now my best friend, reach out to her and say, you know what, this guy really loves you, and this is a girl I was date, like, I went on a date with, when I first met Dana, calling Dana, telling her you should give Manny a chance. Like, wow, like, yo, like, that doesn't happen. That doesn't happen. You know what I'm saying? Like, that doesn't happen with women. Like, and I've had her, I've had my ex, ex-girlfriend, ex Yvette, reach out to her. Like, these are people that are vouching for me, Nicole. You know what I'm saying? And if I was such this villain that I could have my ex, ex-girlfriend reach out to you, the girl I was dating around the time I met you, reach out to you and say I'm good. And even a girl that has her heart broken from another guy reach out to you and all vouch for me showing that I really care. Like, come on, man. The proof is in the pudding, you know? Um, now, did I make mistakes in the relationship? Absolutely, you know? 
I was a liar. I wasn't being true to my word. I was verbally abusive. I get it. That's the thing that I need to work on. The quote is nothing I could do about to change the past. You know, I can't go back in the past and change it. You know, it happened already. Um, all I could just do is just focus forward with the future and try to live every day with the future with what I've learned from this experience and try to make it better. But uh, I, I don't I don't agree with Dana and the fact that like I I didn't care about her and. You know, there is some issues I do need to fix. I agree. But um, the fact that, like, you know, she just pretends like I'm the villain, and that's not true. Like, I did care about her, and I did want things to be better with her. And, you know, the fact that she would want to put a restraining order on me because I, I, I'm calling her because I miss her. Like, come on, bro. I would never go to her fucking house. I would never go to her job. Like, I haven't even been at work for, like, the last week because I'm going away next week. Like, I'm not a fucking stalker. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I've been in harassment and stuff like that. And, I mean, I'm hurt, you know? And I shouldn't do that. And I, that's why, like, the last week I haven't even called her or re reached out to her. But the truth is, Nicole, like, I cared I cared about a lot about your, your friend. And who knows? One day, maybe, if I work on these things and improve and I build my strength and character back, you know, it's, it's going to take more than two months for me to heal from this, Nicole. And um, all I can really do at this point is just give it time. You know, focus on the things I need to do and, and just, you know, maybe one day I'll speak to her again. You know, maybe not. But but at least I tried knowing that I, I gave her my all. I, I wrote her the letter. I sent her the present. You know, I I told her happy anniversary. You know, the only reason I reached out to her today, Nicole, is it's been one year since I've been dating her, you know? So this day is special to me. It's special the fact that I met her a year from for the day. That was the only reason, and um, just let and if you if you do speak to her, Nicole, let her know how much I I care about her, that I value her, you know, and let her know like what she means to me, and and I love her, you know, and I hope I hope one day I can speak to her again, and I want to thank you so much for for your help, and you hope you have a friend in me, and you know I'm always gonna be here as a friend. Um, please take care of her. Please take care of my girl. And, um, you know, I miss my cupcake. Thank you, Nicole. Thanks.